Welcome to Brooklyn, Michigan, where today we are at the Super Speedway of Michigan International Speedway 42. Of the best stock car drivers on the planet, we'll take on this two mile fast, fast place here on the schedule. As we have a new package which will allow the drivers to get up to speed as high as 178 miles an hour uh, by the time they get to the back stretch. Let's take a look at your ones to watch today. First up is Eric Almarol, and he is on pole, his first pole position ever in the ADCS. And second up, sorry, Greg Kislowski is starting fourth. This is his home race. He's never won it. Can that change today? Kevin Harvick is starting sixth, and he is your points leader as of today. And Tyler Reddick starting 11th. He needs a good day to turn around, and he had a great qualifying effort starting 11th. Chase Briscoe starting 20th, and he was last race's winner at the Indianapolis Roval. Now let's go to your national anthem. And now it's time to take a look at your starting lineup. Row one, it's Eric Almarola and Joey Logano. Row two, it's Chase Elliott and Brad Keselowski in his home race. Row three, it's Denny Hamlin and Kevin Harvick, your points leader. Row four, it's Martin Truex Jr. and Kyle Larson, who needs a good day to turn his season. Kyle Busch sitting right on that bubble has the last spot in the playoffs right now alongside his brother, Kurt Busch. Row 6, it's Tyler Reddick, the young RCR driver next to Ryan Blaney in the 12. Row 7, it's William Byron. He needs a solid points day today to solidify himself into the playoffs and alongside him, Haley Deacon. Row 8 is Matt Benedetto and Alex Bowman, two guys who also need good points days today. Christopher Bell and Ryan Newman, both with their worst qualifying position of the season, excluding the Daytona 500. Row 10 is the two, two surprise winners of the season, Chris Buescher and Chase Briscoe. Row 11 is another Michigan boy, it's Eric Jones, and the, alongside him is Daniel Suarez. Row 12, Cole Custer in the 41, next to Bubble Wallace in the 23. Row 13, Ryan Priest and Ross Chastain, who ended up on his roof last week. In row 14, it's three of Austin Dillon and Ricky Stenhouse Jr. in the 47. Row 15, it's Caden Joseph in the Junior Motorsports Zero and Noah Gregson in the 88. Row 16, it's the Ties, Ty Gibbs and Ty Dillon. Row 17, it's Michael McDowell and Todd Gilliland, the two FRM teammates. And there's the last FRM car, Anthony Alfredo in row 18, alongside him, Sheldon Creed. Row 19, Natalie Decker and Corey LaJoy. And in row 20, it's the two open wheel drivers, Santino Ferrucci and Lando Norris. And in row 21, the star cars, Justin Haley driving the 26, and Riley Herbst in the 27. There's the race in votes, 14 laps, 7 lap stages, and 42 drivers. And we are ready to go green for the Firekeepers Casino 200. We're green here in Michigan. Already some moves being made. Here comes Brad Kozlowski trying to split the middle between Elliott and the 10 of Eric Almarola. Can he do it? Almarola is going to power through on the outside. No, he cannot as Joey Logano gets to the lead from second place on the inside. Oh, we have big trouble. Kyle Busch is upside down. Chucks hard in the inside wall. And a huge wreck on lap one of Michigan as we start off this race. How we ended last race. There's Matt Benedetto on pit road getting some damage repair. Uh, see, he clipped Kyle Busch and probably sent him over there. Let's take a look at the replay. Oh, yeah, Truex just got loose in front of Kyle, and the Cordy infect happens. And we told you, with this new package, they are already up to about 178 miles an hour in that draft by the time they get to the back straightaway. So that is definitely blowover territory. As, yeah, Truex just stacks everyone up, gets loose off the bottom right there in front of Kyle. It looks like Tyler Reddick was the one who hit Kyle Busch. Sent him into Matt Benedetto, who sent him over. Both drivers out of the car, but a huge hit 
for both drivers. Kyle Busch landed hard on the roof. Truex slammed the inside wall. But anyways, we are back green, and we have four laps to go in the stage. Joey Logano is going to lead him to the green on the outside lane. Is there four abreast in the one? Here comes Tyler Reddick trying to make it four wide, trying to make the move stick. It's not going to work for him as Logano gets loose off the corner. So does Chase Elliott. And Logano with a huge block going back and forth, weaving to try to block the 10 of Eric Almarola. Almarola is going to slide up into him, almost making contact. Here comes Brad Keselowski, and Brad Keselowski has the lead here in Michigan now. Brad Keselowski with a great three wide move to get past his teammate and Eric Almarola who is side by side. And now are on board with Brad Keselowski as Joey Logano is going to have to try to chase his teammate down. Here he goes to the inside. Joey Logano proving he has the strongest car here today so far. And Logano takes back the lead here in Michigan. Meanwhile, the SHR teammates continue to battle behind them. But the battle for the lead is not over here as the slipstream or the draft, as the NASCAR fans call it, is so strong here at Michigan. As you see the two SHR cars working together, Kevin Harvick's up in the second and Almirola in the third as they both overtake Brad Keselowski on the front straightaway. Oh, Logano gets really loose and slides up, and that opens the door for both SHR cars. Harvick's going to get way clear. Almirola using side draft to try and get ahead of the 22, and he's going to do it into turns three and four and clear Joey Logano. There's the other Michigan driver, Eric Jones. He's running well tonight. As we are coming to the white flag for stage one here in Michigan. Kevin Harvick leads it as it's a train down the front stretch. That is very, very common here in Michigan. Uh, utilizing that draft on the outside to, to help increase the speed of that car. It looks like Talladega, though. Here as the cars are flying down the back stretch. Out of three and four, Eric Almirola catching Harvick a little bit on exit of the corner. It's not going to be enough. Kevin Harvick's going to win his first stage of ADCS Season 2. And that puts an end to Stage 1. Kevin Harvick wins the stage. Uh, Almirola gets second. Brad Keselowski fourth. And the last stage point goes to Ryan Blaney. Anyways, we are back green here for Stage 2. And we will go ADCS All Access. And we're back from ADCS All Access, and you saw the scuffle between the four of Harvick and his teammate in the 10 of Eric Almirola. Harvick able to maintain spot again. Here is Brad Kozlowski looks to the outside of the 10 of Eric Almirola, and he's going to make that pass down the front straightaway easily clear of the 10 of Eric Almirola. Now into three and or one and two, sorry, again on lap nine of 14. Tyler Reddick is flying right now oh we have a huge huge crash oh my goodness Caden Joseph into the catch fence and a huge fire and that is a red flag immediately oh my goodness and that was a that that was a very very violent wreck oh my goodness we just hope everyone is okay in that wreck a lot a lot of cars got into that and a lot of cars were airborne as there's a there's something on fire on the other side of the wall uh, maybe the safer barrier caught on fire. It's like they bring the cars down pit road here as we're, we might have a lengthy delay as there's Caden Joseph uh, getting out of his car with assistance uh, from the AMR safety crew as they've had the fire extinguished uh, what was on fire in the safer barrier behind it. As there's Caden Joseph. He is definitely, definitely shaken up here uh, after that wreck. That was absolutely massive. Good to see all the drivers are out of their cars. Uh, Caden Joseph, the only one needing a little bit of assistance to get out of his car uh, after hitting that catch fence. That was very, very violent. Uh, as we'll get a replay here uh, in a in a second. Uh, let's take a look at this. 
Oh, yeah. Dylan got turned by the 17, of, or not the 17, sorry, the 47 of Stenhouse, and that gets him into the into the 99, who almost goes over, clips the 21, who also almost goes over. Uh, as uh, Take a look here uh, on this next replay, this, this, this next shot, uh, Caden Joseph, uh, top right of your screen there. Oh, my goodness. He just launches off of the 88 of Noah Gregson, his teammate, squeezed up against the wall and into that catch fence really, really hard. Um yeah, that's that is not not good. As a huge fire though erupted right after he hit that catch fence. Um, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised here. Uh, take one more look at this. As uh, yeah, the car the the left side looks like it uh, might have ripped off some of the uh, fuel cell protection there. Uh, might have been what caught fire behind or in that safer barrier. As uh, Kevin Harvick now getting out of his car, he's the current leader of this race. As we are going to be back in a little bit. And after a two-hour delay, we're going to be back for a two-lap shootout to the finish of this one. Kevin Harvick is your race leader. How aggressive will they be following that horrific crash from Caden Joseph? There's the answer right there. They're going to go forward. Contact between the two leaders. Here comes Tyler Reddick. Splitting the middle four wide, and Reddick has the race lead, followed by Chase Elliott and Brad Keselowski. The eight of Tyler Reddick is, oh, huge tire rub, though, on the two of Brad Keselowski. Chase Elliott, right now, trying to work that bottom and chase down Tyler Reddick. Down this front straightaway, starting the last lap of the, uh, the race here in Michigan. Chase Elliott chasing Tyler Reddick as he closes in the gap. In one and two, can he get there in time? It looks like he's going to be right to the back bumper of the eight car. Tyler Reddick trying to shake Chase Elliott down the back stretch. Weaving to the inside, trying to break the draft. Elliott's right there in his back bumper. Chase drives it in deep. He slides up the track. He's into the wall. Reddick is clear, and Reddick is home free. Tyler Reddick, who would have thought? Winning at Michigan in a horrible crash in three and four. Digging up under the wall, almost up and over. A huge crash again to end this race. It's been, it's been a trend in this race. Big, big wrecks, hard wrecks as well. There's Larson involved. Reddick wins the race. There's Hamlin as well. He took a hard, hard lick. But Tyler Reddick is going to win at Michigan. What a finish that was. He got clear. Out of one and two on that final lap, or not in the final lap, uh, on that restart, is, yeah, there's Kevin Harvick over to Brad Keselowski's car. He is not happy with that two car for forcing that. But you can't blame him. It's racing. Let's take a look at the replay of the wreck, though. Oh, yeah, it looks like Larson just got a bump from behind from the one car, and they both turned dead right uh, in on the outside wall. Yeah, as their Bowman comes down, he collects the 4A car of Haley Deegan. And almost up and over, so similar to Caden Joseph's wreck earlier in this race. As we look at the ADCS winning move, uh, and it's Tyler Reddick being so patient here. Uh, not trying to block that huge run by Chase Elliott's chase gun in the wall. And the opportunity right there is to seize part, though, for Tyler Reddick. But driver of the day, Lando Norris, he started 40th and finishes 14th, but the winner is Tyler Reddick, and he is locked into the playoffs as long as he stays in the top 30 in points. Let's take a look at your point standings. First, the playoff standing. Uh, Kevin Harvick, obviously, at the top uh, of the drivers with no wins, but Kurt Busch, Matt Benedetto, and Eric Amarola are on that bubble still, and we'll have to watch for them in the upcoming races. Kansas and the Daytona Road Course, the last two on the regular season schedule. Take a look at your overall point standings. Harvick leads. Logano jumps Ryan Newman, and he is in the second in the point standings. Logano has been definitely the second most consistent car uh, behind Kevin Harvick this season. Uh, as we look at the bottom half of the playoff grid now in the point standings, Landon Norris with that great performance uh, jumps out of last place, and Ty Dillon sadly is going to be in last place in the points. Ross Castain with a decent bounce back today, but he won't gain much as you'll have to wait until the next race, the Bushy McBush Race 200 at Kansas. Thank you for watching this presentation of the ADCS.